So let's move on to the Niners at the Commanders. 49ers currently 13 and a half point favorites, actually down to 12 and a half at some shops. Um, looking at some steam on the commander side after Jacoby Brissett was named the starter for them coming into this game. Sam Howell was benched. Sorry, Cody. Hate to say it, but uh, it seems like the Sam Howell era is over for Washington. Um, whoa, whoa, back. whoa. Not over. I mean, the door is probably as close to being as closed as possible, but I mean, there's a little sliver of hope. You know, what? what's another off season, a better group of pass catchers around him? Let's build towards Sam Howell. Let's, let's elevate him up here. Yeah, I, th- I think Washington's going to be very much in the quarterback market in the draft. But we shall see. First things first, they will be playing Jacoby Brissett here against the 49ers. Niners coming off that loss against the Ravens on Monday Night Football. Potentially primed for a bounce back spot here. But I don't know. So it's tough to see them getting too amped for a road trip against a Washington team that has all but given up on the season. Schwartz, I'll start with you here first. Are you any, any interest in backing the 49ers as a road favorite? Here? I mean, I think this is really tough. I mean... He's got two a two interception lead on the field, but he's not going to play the last two games. Is Sam Howell going to lead the whole league in interceptions? I'm going to be really sad if he doesn't, because the dude is horrible and he deserves a distinction. Uh, but you know, Josh Allen and Pat Mahomes, they're just as turnover worthy, and they've got two extra games. They've got every right to catch him. So, uh, it, I I think that's a thrilling race to wrap up the season. But in terms of this specific game, I mean, I think it's a weird number, twelve and a half, or I guess it's ticking up to thirteen in some places, which is a bit more normal. I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. Every single metric that you can look at is telling you Niners, but too big for a road favorite, especially with a quarterback change and some new looks coming. Uh, Not like that's going to get me to bet on the commanders in this one. I'm just interested to see. uh, The last thing I'm interested with this team this year is to see whether or not Howell ends up leading the league in picks despite only playing 15 games. There's no, not only am I not interested in this as a football game, I'm not interested in betting in it. Uh, There's no, there's no discernible edge. So this is a pass for me. Um, yeah. Can I be breaking news real quick? And and I know this is an NFL video, but I'm sorry. I literally I have to say this <laughs> for the Pop Tart Toaster Bowl. I just saw a picture. There is literally a giant toaster behind one of the end zones, and the mascot's going to pop out of it. I am. I've never <laughs> been more excited for tonight. But <laughs> I'll just go right into my cap. Sorry, wait. I'll go right into that. No Let's interrupt it. Um, I think I just got to keep riding what's been pretty profitable for me. I think we're going to go San Francisco team total over again. I mean, this offense is just so insane. And and while the defense has been kind of, I think, more prone to these sleepy spots, this offense, I mean, I swear, I, they don't care. And even when, like, they play a more conservative, their system is just so hyper-efficient. They slow down San Francisco, still gaining chunks at a time for just how awesome and efficient they've been. And then there's Washington secondary. It's horrific. It is one of the worst units I've seen on tape. It's they let everyone behind them. Like, and I don't understand. They want to press up and they let behind. You're going to try and do that against Debo's going to be just streaking across the middle. Ayuk who's just an awesome at finding gaps. You got Kittle downfield blocker, awesome at finding gaps. McCaffrey who's the best open field running back in football right now. It's just, I, I don't see how the, what Washington wants to do on defense is going to even find any remote success against um, 49ers. To me, um, it's uh, uh, it's thirty and a half. Um, yeah, it, it's a high total, but to me, I think they're going to maximize on every single possession. To be honest, and I mean, yes, I will throw in the flag. Um, Sam Howell broke my heart. I had so much hope for him. He was so awesome in North Carolina, but honestly, let's be let's be real. Is Jacoby Brissett really that much of an upgrade? No, um, I think they're going to struggle um, here. Washington ground game has not like really been hyper efficient either. I mean, they're 18th rush DVOA success rate, 17th EPA. So they're not really going to put a scare to kind of a, I don't want to call it a weak front seven. They're just because like they, they have the tools at front seven. Just they're more so excelling at coverage than run stopping, but I just don't think they'll be able to exploit that regard. So early outs, maybe potentially give 49ers extra possessions. I think they'll be in a good position. Just once again, put up a plethora of points. What a fitting way for uh, Ron Rivera's tenure as a Washington head coach to end by benching your 23-year-old quarterback when your season is over to start Jacoby Brissett? Why? It doesn't make any sense to me. But, no, I I agree with Cody. Uh, The team told us a a decent way to play this. I would just wait for confirmation on Trent Williams and Debo Samuel. Uh, Both should be active, I believe, but they're both on the injury report. So just want to wait and make sure with those two because they are 
such a crucial part of this offense. We saw that earlier this year when the Niners struggled with them out. But yeah, if they play, definitely agree with Cody on the team total play being a strong one. The commander's defense stinks. It's the worst defense in the NFL. And they should have no issues uh, moving the ball up and down the field against them. So good spot for the Niners offense overall.